Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft 1.9. Yes, we're back, and it's strange. If you guys watched our 500 subscriber special, yes, we had a 500 subscriber special that came out yesterday. If you watch that, you'll realize that we're not even following the schedule that I that I put in place. Yay! But I have some reasons behind that. So yeah, last episode, if you missed it, we were working on a couple different things. We were working on our monument over there. We were working on a chicken farm, which by the way, by the way, BT Dubs, this thing is working fantastically, Flanders-tastically. We're, we're talking about Ned Flanders. Apparently I sound like him. I don't, I don't get it. Roger, danger. Yeah. Go figure. So, yeah, um, I was getting some great comments from you guys, and I got a comment, I think it was from Fanfy, who said that I should definitely recess this in the wall. And if it wasn't for, I've already filled it up. Check this out. I have already filled it up. Look at this. Look, I have a hundred and almost 150 chickens right here. And then I have another, how many are in here? Almost 60 chickens. I'm gonna say 60 chickens are in this compartment right there, and 150 chickens are in this compartment right here. That Fanfy, I'm pretty sure it was Fanfy who said it, but the, but she suggested to insert it in the wall or inside of the mountain, which would have been a wonderful idea. I can't believe I didn't think of that, but eh, it's a thing. I'll probably just build something around it. I really don't want to move it now because I'd have to get. What are you doing, huh? I see you. How's it going? I'm gonna creep around here. We got a creeper. We've got a literal creeper over there. But, but yeah, we're we're back on the Minecraft single player world. So I have some explainings. I was actually I was about to record a hypermind video, and I was actually getting ready for it. And if you guys remember, we're gonna try to kill off this creeper. Um, yep, saw that coming. That's just wonderful. I did not. Ugh, I hate it when that happens. I really don't like creepers. Um, I used to be pretty good at, you know, being able to kill creepers before they blew up, but now the, the stupid combat, well, not the stupid combat update. It's a good update. I like the update, but now that we have the combat update, it makes it just it's so hard to kill creepers anymore. It's just ridiculous. That and skeletons, both of them are just terrible. But I was I was about to get ready to record a Hypermind episode, and I actually was like, I remembered because the episode before that, I told you I was going to go mining off screen. So I went mining, I found a cave, and I was actually on my way back from it, and I had a whole lot of diorite, and I died. I fell. So what ended up happening, I didn't get it on camera, which is kind of unfortunate. Hello, zomboids. I... Well, I, I was getting bum rushed by uh, a few, like two different skeletons when I was leaving the cave and I was freaking out. And what ended up happening was I got loose of them, but I only had like one and a half hearts left and I fell in a one by one hole, five blocks and it killed me. And I did, and I could not for the life of me find it. And I lost all of my stuff. So that's a thing. We're kind of poor over there now. So I've got to get all that stuff back. So. Off screen, I've been doing a couple different things. I actually, I'm not even gonna lie to you, I recorded a bit where I actually showed you guys this stuff and I and I and I explained it in great detail. I didn't build it on screen, but I lost the footage. It's just a whole bunch of failures at the beginning of this episode, but I lost the footage because during when I was doing my 500 subscriber special, I had a lot of leftover footage and a whole lot of clips, so I just went ahead and recycle binned all of them, and and I hadn't I haven't like uh, emptied my recycling bin in a long time, and I just emptied it, and I forgot that I put that clip in there. So yeah, that's a thing. So I built this off screen. I, I really like it. I think it came out pretty well. I do plan on replacing these slabs with quartz. Sooner or later, I love the look. I love, I absolutely love the combination of stone brick and spruce and, and regular slabs. I don't know. I don't know if I'll replace these with quartz or not. They kind of blend in with this. I really like it. I still plan on putting a castle here. I, I'm probably what's going to end up happening sooner or later. I'm going to make this into a, like a little bustling town. I'm already, I was exploring a bunch of stuff up here and there's like interconnecting pathways and, and um, like caves and stuff that connect 
in two different places. Oh my goodness. It's going to be so fun to do road systems up and through here. Trying to get some houses up in here. I don't know what I'm going to do with this little area, but it'd be really nice to have a, a house on this hill and do some stuff with these integrants fields and stuff. I think it'd be really fun. I, I've got a lot of really cool ideas. Think about a house up there. Oh, I, I can't wait. I really wish I wasn't alone. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I had an idea. I don't know if I ever will do it. But having like villagers walk around freely around the town, I think that'd be really cool once we start getting a build. I'm at that position where I'm kind of like, oh goodness, I really need to replace that button because every time I, I have two buttons on my on my mouse, but if I if I click both of them at the same time, it kind of locks that together and it looks so bad. <laughs> oh my goodness, everybody's spawning. Okay, enough talking. But I, I wanna, I had an idea for villagers walking around, but I don't think that'd be completely safe. So I finally, I'm not done with it, but I finally got this part of the build done. Check it out. I did a, a bunch of this on screen while talking to you guys, but of course all that footage is gone. But I finished this. I, I'm not completely done with it. I still plan on doing a lot of design work with the wall itself, maybe adding more nether brick. I went off screen and got some nether brick together and did started doing some trimming for it. And I think it looks really, really nice. Um, I do want to do some uh, some kind of water uh, theme for the bottom. I still have to do, of course, the floor and stuff. Uh, it's not 100%, but I, it's gotten to that point where I think I can start. I think I can start planning on putting science. I was wanting to start today, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to, which is kind of unfortunate. I might just do it anyways and start getting those. And if I have to move them, I'll move them. But I don't think I'm going to uh, be typing all that out on screen because it's going to take like forever to get all that stuff gathered up and put it on the on the wall so I'll probably end up doing that off screen and just coming back and reading through the names and you guys could be super excited whenever you hear your name called which is kind of really cool so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some stuff gathered up and then I'm gonna get some stuff going for this and once I get back I'll see you guys when I get some stuff going so yeah I'll see you guys in a little bit all right guys welcome back so we're on top of the now quote unquote finished i don't think it's 100 percent finished but we're on top of the i'm gonna call it the supporter monument now i have been spending i spent about a good probably three days making this thing on and off three days and i hope you guys like it i do want to say once more the people that are in this right now i only added 11 different subscribers and then i added four different other well actually four was four or five four four or five i can't remember og people and we'll get into talking about that more but let's actually check it out all right here we go please don't kill me oh i was really i really thought i was gonna die but check this out i really really like it now i do want to say it's not finished i do plan on adding another uh, a subscriber, no, comment, no, supporter thing, right there and right there, and then we'll have these four, and then I do plan on also just hanging signs, probably up the wall, um, but these are going to be the uh, the uh, the quote unquote first entries, so they're going to have like the like the super awesome outlines and such. So let's actually get into. I do want to say again. If your name isn't in here, I'm sorry. Just let me know in the comment section that I'm a moron and I will make sure to add you in next time. At least I I'm probably gonna do this every 10 episodes. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's gonna be 10 episodes. For the next time I'm gonna be entering people will be episode 20, but I'm gonna be coming on and off and upgrading this thing as I get new resources because I do plan on putting some lighting in here because this thing is a spawning pad. But I really hope that you guys like the design. It's a really, it's a really parallaxy design. And I added, a, I added, I really wanted to add a water feature. I added another brick, slabs, and diorite. It looks, it, it's, it reminds me a lot of the parallaxes design. But I really like it nonetheless. So let's actually, I'm done stalling. Let's get into this. So. My first entry is I definitely wanted to put Fanfy Love and then I'm again, I'm also going to say this. I'm very sorry if I mispronounce your name. I'm terrible with names. I've always been bad with names. So please don't hurt me in the comment section. Please don't hurt me. But I definitely wanted to put Fanfy Love and then Jello Brat to... I think that's how I say, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Because you guys are always in the comment section, so thank you very much. Spell checks always on uh, Twitter and sometimes in the comment section. Thank you so much, bruh. Um, I love you to death, buddy, buddy, but man, you have got the weirdest name. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Kitty Sinetto, is, if that's how you say it, 
I am amazing. So thank you so much for being an amazing supporter, bud. Dexter, I'm looking at you, bud. I see you always on Twitter, so thank you so much, man. Um, Dark man, again, Twitter, thank you so much. And also comment section, love you, buddy. I know Dadcraft probably won't see this because he's, he's, I don't know. I don't know if he actually watches through the entire video, but thank you so much for all your love, Dad. Craft, not actual dad. You're not my dad. That'd be weird. If you actually are my dad and my dad's a secret YouTuber, that'd be weird. I'm coming after your sub count. <laughs> I almost got close. I, I'm sorry. I have like this this inner ego that I have to have a great, uh, the same amount of sub count as other people. But I almost I almost caught up to you and then you jutted away from me. Uh, chicken chicken, buddy. I, I loved your name, so I put you in. Even though, I, I don't know. I just love you, buddy. So thank you so much for all your amazing stuff. We got the awesome guy. We got the flaming curse. You know you you know why you're the awesome guy. We got Andre Pena. I'm sorry again if I mispronounce your name. Thank you so much for being a great supporter. And then on the other side, all by him lonesome or all by her lonesome. I don't know the gender. We got Skeg by. I'm so sorry if I mispronounce your name. <laughs> Skeg by. It sounds pretty good. Skeg by. I probably butchered that. So that were the those were the eleven commenters that I added for the first iteration. Now again, you guys. I know I have over 20 likes a video and almost 100 views per video. I know there's other people who want to be in this. So I'm guaranteeing you, you guys are going to get in sooner or later. Just let me know that in the comment section. Just keep doing what you're doing. These are for the first 11 that I really thought deserved a shot into this. For, well, this, I know it's not really prestigious, but I really wanted to put you guys in because I really do appreciate, especially for these people, because these people, um, really 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 did it over twitter and over in the comment section so thank you so much i did not i did not by the way add any hyper miners into this monument i do plan on doing something special for you guys i love you guys to death and you guys are a lot of my buddies so i do plan on doing something special for you guys i won't be doing anything in the monument over here for you guys and i've got four og people <laughs> so i wanted to give high props to both nathan matthewson and then marie lip those two are going to be the um those two were the first og ones that i put in because uh you guys were supporting me way back when and i really do appreciate it i know i say appreciation a lot but i do appreciate you too because you guys kept me going. Even at the beginning when no one else was watching, you guys seemed to be around. So thank you so much. Um, I know Murray has a uh, YouTube. If I remember, it will be in the links in the down there if you guys want to go check him out. Um, Young Skittles, even though you won't see this, I put you in here. See, look, love for Young Skittles. I got love for you, buddy. <laughs> and last but not least, I've got Cardboard Cat. I know um, Cardboard Cat, I haven't seen you very much in the comment section as of late. Well, actually, I saw you come back into the comment section. But when I was going through it, I saw you had left a comment way back when. I remember I remembered putting you in my first 36. So, uh, actually, first 32. No, was it 31? You were, you were one of the OG 31 subscribes. So, I definitely wanted to put you in the OG. So because I saw you recently, because when I saw you in the comment section, I remembered, wait a minute, was he in the OG 31? And I went back in the video and yes, you were indeed in the OG 31. So I did, I did want to put you in here. So thank you so much, Cardboard Cat. Thank you for coming back. I, hopefully I didn't scare you off. <laughs> but yeah, this is the first iteration of the supporter monument. I do plan on, I was thinking about doing this. Uh, we don't have any uh, patrons yet. If you, by the way, if you don't know, I started up a Patreon. If you guys want to check that out, links are in the down there. I announced it in my 500 subscriber special, but I do plan on doing monuments for you guys. And I was thinking about doing them here, here, and then there. And then my monuments, of course, would be armor stands, and then I would have signs for you guys. And it's already turning nighttime, come on. And then I would do kind of like something I did. If you guys remember the Subscriber Hall of Fame, I'd probably have like a special block for you guys. I have armor stands for you guys. I do something special for you guys. Um, and make sure people know that you're amazing. For if you are, if you do feel the need to become a patron. But yeah, this is it. I really, really like it. I love how it came out. And no, it is not done. I still, I still plan on doing a lot of more water features. I really want to add some blue in here. Um, but yeah, that's all that we're going to be doing it for today. I don't know how much time we have left. I did want to jump into the nether to try to get some glowstone because I am getting tired of these torches. So let me get some stuff gathered up. I need to clear out my inventory and yeah, <laughs> let's see what happens in the nether. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, welcome back. So we're in the nether and I have a bad feeling about this. 
it, it's just one of those feelings that you know that you're probably not in the safest place because currently everything below me except for well actually technically now everything below me is one block that's it and that's um it's a pretty long way down <laughs> at least it's gonna be a very very soft drop Oh, I'm gonna die. So, um, yeah. Uh, so I need glowstone, and um, it's over there. And um, this is uh, it's gonna be fun. So my current plan is to try to bridge, try to bridge my way over there. And um, boy, oh boy. Let's hope I don't die. Please no gas, please no gas, please no gas. <laughs> oh, pinky finger, don't give up on me now. <laughs> oh, God. This is awful. Oh, God. Almost there. Almost there. This is, this is, uh, this is, um, this, this is, uh, this has got to be, I need ladders. Oh, God. Okay, we're gonna gonna be sit. We're gonna be very safe about this, and just run, and jump. Okay, we're. Oh God, butt is clenched. Oh, I'm leaving. Okay, good. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're gonna go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some ladders. I know that I had a lot of weird, awkward pausing during that commentary. It was because my butt was very clenched and I was very scared. Uh, so I'm gonna grab some of this and I'm gonna grab some ladders. That should be enough. And then. I don't know if ladders is the best solution to the, to the problem at hand right now, but I haven't seen a gas yet. God, please be, there's no wood around here. Oh, well, I'm gonna die. Um, but I haven't seen a gas yet, so yeah. That seems to be a good thing. I am lagging, there we go. F3A, man, F3A. It really helps out with the lag problems. So let's go over here. And now it should just be as easy as falling down and then building back up. So we're gonna do bam, 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 bam. Okay, cool. So we should be able to build the ladder up. Can I reach? Yes, I can. And then we'll do that. And then there we go. So now we have a system back and forth. A very, very riggedy system, but we now have a system back and forth if we need to come over here. So sweet. So I'm going to go see if... I'm going to go try to gather some glowstone and various quartz. Probably not a lot of quartz because I don't have fortune. But I am going to try to grab some glowstone while I'm over here. And if anything exciting happens, I'll let you know. Hey! Another fortress! Oh, I've got ideas now. We have a... Okay, oh yeah... Welcome back, everybody. Um, I haven't stopped recording. I'm just kind of getting bits while I'm here in the nether, but, well, bits and bobs, as Zazuma would like to say. But I found another fortress, and actually, you guys are looking at quartz right now. So I found another fortress. I don't know if there's a blaze spawner in here. I can hear us blaze. Ooh, this is a big boy. Oh, this is gonna be great. Oh, goodness, this is actually really, really good. Okay, cool, so we've got some blazes around here. Oh, one of them spotted me. So we'll have to definitely come back sometime next episode and explore this. I'm probably, what I'm gonna end up doing is spending a, quite a bit of time off screen trying to gather up quartz, not because of the quartz factor, but mainly for the XP. I would like to, well, I don't know. I, personally, part of me wants to wait on that. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you guys think I should wait on mining the quartz or do you th guys think I should use it for XP? Because next episode, I am gonna start working on a zombie spawner. Because if you guys remember, we found the zombie spawner, but we haven't done anything with it. So I wanna, now that we've gotten the, the, the supporter monument done, well, quote unquote done, I'm still gonna be doing a lot of work on it. So now that we've gotten the supporter uh, monument mostly done and dusted, we can start working on stuff that is uh, kind of neat a lot. Well, it's not really the stuff that's needed the most, but stuff that I wanna get done and get out of the way because we're gonna be needing it the most, if you guys can catch what, I, what I'm saying there. Because I definitely wanna start working on a way of getting good XP. I wanna get an enchantment room going, and I wanna start building up the town. 
Uh, I really want to start working on a lot of aesthetic stuff. That is the rickiest thing ever. I definitely am going to do something in the nether. Probably like a nether. Holy Lord Almighty, this is not safe. Not even one single bit. But I <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I had a lot of fun today. I don't think I'm going to end it off until I get over back to the nether fortress. But planning out future events, uh, we're probably for the next few episodes... We're going to work on the zombie spawner, like I said. After that, I'm probably going to start maybe on the... on. I don't want to say on the... Oh, this is this is scary. Oh, God. Holy God. There's a lot of Pikmin. We're going to go this way. We're just going to... We're just... We're just going to peace out. I am... I, oh, this is... This is... This is... Whoa. I, oh, good Lord. Okay. We're good now. Now I can finally focus. I was stuttering back there because I just don't like the nether. By the way, you cannot use water buckets in the nether. I had somebody uh, post a comment about that. I'm sorry, that is not a thing. I can actually prove it. I can prove it, but I'm not going to. Um, all it does, you know what, I will prove it. I don't want you guys to think I'm fibbing, but you cannot use buckets of water in the nether, and I just want to show that off real quick. Because I think of it as a big thing because if you could, you could easily get rid of all the lava. I'm sorry for the lag, by the way. It lags whenever we load in, but watch this. Yep, goodbye. It just kind of dissipates, which is really stupid. I, I think, well, personally, I think it's a good thing, but it can also be considered a bad thing, which is, eh, it's a thing. Especially when we died on Hypermine. That was kind of sad because I died with the bucket of water on me. Um, you know, I couldn't use it. The only way that you can use water in the nether, I do believe, is through a cauldron. So that's the thing. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, guys. I had a lot of fun today. Don't forget, if you hated this video, you know where to put it. But if you didn't enjoy, do not forget to hit that like button, guys. You guys have been doing amazing on all, my, all of my videos lately. I just want to say thank you guys for all of your amazing support. We I can't believe we're already at 500 and I think 25 subs right now. I, I, I can't believe the community as a whole has been growing so rapidly. I, I really, I it, it warms my heart. It really warms my heart to know that people enjoy enjoy my babble I, I really i'm really glad that you guys are enjoying this as much as i am i'm having the time of my life playing this with you guys i really am so don't forget to post any questions comments or smart marks in the comment section down there i love hearing from you guys and don't forget don't hate me if you guys aren't in the in the uh the supporter monument yet you guys are coming i promise you'll be in there i'm sorry that was weird so i'll see you guys next time peace out and hope all of you have a great and wonderful rest of your day I'll see you next time, guys. Oh, yeah, by the way, P.S., I have a feeling that the series is going to be moving on very swiftly soon. I, I kind of, I, I went through phases because I've gotten to that point, I, I've got to that point where I have so many things that I want to get done that I don't know what to start first. I, I'm trying to categorize what's important, so, and then trying to do from there, but I, I feel like that's just, that's a bad way of doing things because what ends up happening is you get projects going and then you realize you want to do something else so you kind of flip flop and then eh. i always like to finish projects whenever i start them which i clearly haven't done that so yeah why are you still here no i'm, I'm actually wondering the video's over i'm glad you are the funny thing is i'm still talking we're just gonna... Holy crap. Oh, oh god, it's getting dark. Oh, oh god. Hello? Is it me you're looking for? It's really, really dark in here.